Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today is April 16th, 2019. Hope you all filed your taxes yesterday, at least if you're in the United States. I have some AMD news, specifically some Zen 2 news, Ryzen 3rd Gen, which is supposedly launching in about six weeks at the beginning of June, when AMD's CEO, Lisa Su, does the keynote speech at Computex in Taiwan. You'll notice I have several 300 series motherboards on the desk. Yes, there's a good reason for that, and no, it's not a good one. I have recently learned, and I will link to the sources down in the video description below, that you may not be getting any BIOS updates for Zen 2 on motherboards from three of the four main manufacturers, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock. Before we get into that, let me talk to you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is the online learning platform for under $10 a month with thousands of classes, including this one, Journalism 101, Introduction to News Writing. If you want to do news articles, news videos, blogs, there are many courses, including this one, 34 Minutes Long by Donna Del Rosa. For 15 years, she worked as an automotive journalist and managing editor for Edmunds.com and Inside Line. If you know anything about cars, you know those two websites. For less than $10 a month, you get unlimited access to thousands of classes in all these categories. The first 500 people who click on the link in my video description below get a two-month free trial. Support the channel, click the link, go sign up for the trial, and go learn something today. Now, please note this is not confirmed from these companies, and things can change in the next six weeks. After all, it's just BIOS updates, and perhaps they will end up releasing them. However, it turns out that an MSI support person made the mistake of sending an email message to somebody who owned a $300 motherboard, that specific board right over there in the nice silver box, the MSI X370 Titanium. That was a $300 board at launch. And they were asking where the BIOS updates for Zen 2 are, because they're coming very soon. They're already out for some other boards, most notably these from ASUS. And the response from the MSI agent was, it will not be supported. This runs counter to what we've been told for the past two years, that you would get four years of support. Basically, you'd get Zen 1, Zen 1 Plus, or Zen Refresh, Zen 2, and then Zen 2 Refresh, which will be out in 2020, otherwise known in terms of retail terms as Ryzen 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, the four generations of chips, two main architectures. If this holds true, while it might not be AMD breaking the promise, it's a pretty big promise broken because I'm willing to bet quite a few people bought some very nice premium motherboards expecting to be able to install the next generation of chips. Please note, the BIOSes are finished. They're already done. In fact, you can download them now for the ASUS 300 series boards. And you can download, it's not just that they haven't done them. The 400 series boards from all of the companies are done and ready. The Aegis version .7.2, which supports the next generation Zen 2 chips, is already on all their websites. Go and look at the motherboards for the B450 and X470 series from MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock, and you can download BIOSes for those boards right now that support Zen 2 when it launches. But not for the 300 series, and I checked a bunch of them. And I didn't find any of them, uh, I, three or four boards from each of the companies, I didn't find any of them that supported it except for ASUS. Even their $100 boards, not even just this nice ROG Strix B350F here, which does support Zen 2, but for example, the B350 Prime Plus, the sub $99 board, it has Zen 2 support. Now, how well it will support a 12 or 16 core chip remains open to question, and we will test that when those launch. Not to worry, plenty of tests on both original 300 series boards as well as the new 500 series which are launching in June is, uh, will be coming. I'll see whether or not there's a performance difference should you bother upgrading. I'm willing to bet the answer is probably not. 
unless you're going maybe to a 12 or 16 core chip and you have a very entry level board if you have a 70 dollars board and you want to go to a 500 dollars chip yeah you probably should upgrade but if you're going from a four core or six core to an eight core chip and you have something like this rog strix or you have one of these very very nice boards you probably won't but we will test it not to worry quick update after filming the video but before publishing msi released a statement it has come to our attention that MSI customer support has regrettably misinformed an MSI customer with regards to potential support for next-gen AMD CPUs on this motherboard. Through this statement, we wish to clarify the current situation, MSI said. At this point, we are still performing extensive testing on our existing lineup of 300 and 400 series AM4 motherboards to verify potential compatibility for the next-gen AMD Ryzen CPUs. To be clear, our intention is to offer maximum compatibility for as many MSI products as possible. Towards the launch of the next-gen CPUs, we will release a compatibility list of MSI AM4 boards. This could mean one of several things. It could mean they legitimately are still in testing and simply have got zero 300 series boards done, yet they have all the 400 series boards done. Or it could mean, gee, we have six weeks till launch. Yeah, that's fast enough to get some BIOS updates for the 300 series. It depends on how tight your tinfoil hat is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if this remains true, if any of these companies do not in fact support Zen 2 on these very nice and expensive X370 boards, will you buy any boards from them in the future? Will you buy their graphics cards or other products? I imagine that that's going to upset a few people. Now, the, uh, the titanium over there, that was $300. This gaming uh, K7 right here was a $200 board. This gaming K4 was about $150, but these are all premium products. This gaming K4, for example, is what I did all of my launch Ryzen 1 benchmarks on. I had a Ryzen 7 1700X running at a fixed 4 gigahertz very, very nicely on this gaming K4 for a long time. It's since been replaced with an X470, but that's what I did my testing on for quite some time. Ran very stable and very nice. My only issue with it is this board never supported 3200 properly. 2933 is the most it supported, which is why I eventually replaced it. Most boards easily support 3200 now, even the first gen boards, even this ROG Strix does 3200 just fine. That was weird. They replaced it with the gaming X uh, because they just had an issue with that board. But other than that, uh, the BIOS updates fixed all the RAM issues. As I said, the links will be down in the video description below. This bothers me because this has been one of the big selling points for AMD. And if they don't release BIOS updates, I hope AMD leans on them and tells them, look, this is part of the promise. You guys got to do this. You guys, you guys need to release the BIOS updates. Your customers expected it. We've been promising it. And at the end of the day, I am willing to bet that if somebody went out and spent $200 or $300 on a first-gen board and can't upgrade to Zen 2 without changing the board, they'll blame AMD just as much as they blame the motherboard company, even if it really is the motherboard company's fault. Because I said, please note, all of these companies, their 400 series boards are already out with the uh, Zen 2 updates. It's just not the 300 series. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hopefully this was useful and informative. We'll find out in about six weeks whether it remains to be true. Maybe they'll have enough pressure that they reverse course or get BIOS updates out. I hope they do, because if you bought a board, especially if a nice one like this, you don't need an upgrade. These are great boards with great features, and you should be able to use them for years to come. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big, huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, comment section. Check the links in the video description. I'll put links to various sources down there, uh, maybe some extra thoughts down there or in the pinned comment. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see all of you next time.